Hey there. Autotrophs are organisms that metabolize non-organic compounds. In the spec bio community, these are rarely divided into two categories. Phototrophs, which use light for instance, plants, and chemotrophs, organisms that live off of breaking down chemicals to get energy. So, there's no crazy chemicals in the atmosphere, so there will be no chemotrophs, except in certain areas. So planet-wide, autotrophs are limited to phototrophs. There will be algae and kelp like plants, both of which need access to the atmosphere to obtain CO2 for photosynthesis, which the algae will achieve by straight up living right up there at the surface and the kelp will achieve by growing up to the surface. And also, a common misconception is that plants must be green for photosynthesis. In reality, they can be a huge variety of colors. Just look at Susan Valleys and their coral hosts with all their many colors used for photosynthesis. Pretty much any color will work, though do bear in mind that they will tend towards darker shades of the colors they use, because they absorb more light as opposed to brighter shades which reflect more light. So with all that explained, I'll have blue plants on my alien planet. I'll call this kingdom Cyanophyta, or blue plants, in ancient Greek this time, not Latin. And yes, I am just now realizing that I've yet to give any clay to name in the series, so it's not any kind of twist. Deal with it. A single kelp plant on this planet isn't actually one, but in fact a colony of organisms with a central pillar, which I'll call a monarch, supporting them, bringing CO2 to the leaves which aren't near the surface. And each leaf is its own individual organism, except for the monarch, where they have two to six leaves of their own described as the crown at the top of the organism, as well as four gametangia, which are used to release fertilized spores and hold unfertilized spores and release pollen. And each leaf also has its own gametangia, where it makes seeds or pollen, which get taken to the monarch's gametangia to be used appropriately. Pollen is released and hopefully will reach another monarch's gametangia and fertilize a spore. If it is a monarch, once its status has been determined, it will take another five local weeks to give it the nutrients it will need to grow to the surface without starving first. Or it will be a leaf and simply be released and hopefully land on another colony and grow. Since this is unlikely to happen any given time, they will make many spores and release them into the water so some may survive. And lastly, monarchs are also either male or female themselves and may be referred to as king or queen accordingly. I'll call these organisms filiae plantae or village plants and it will be replacing the term kelp from now on. And the same goes for the more basic lunar plantae or loner plants, which will replace the word algae, albeit I will frequently refer to them as such. And this is a good time to note that loner plantae are technically not multicellular, but instead colonial organisms, but they're all under one phylum, Cyanophyta, since evolution doesn't make a point of conforming to human social constructs, believe it or not. Oh, and this is also probably a good time to mention that I'm using Google Translate Latin for the name origins of basically everything in this series. I, Google Translate's not known for being very accurate, and I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciations, even if Google, Google gets it right, so bear that in mind. Oh, and the ancient Greek stuff is going off of stuff I've picked up, which could very well be very wrong. So, I won't, and I'm almost certainly not pronouncing it right, so, uh, yeah. Hey, it's the outro. Please like and subscribe. YouTube likes that, it'll show it to more people. In fact, please hit the notification bell so you see it again. Please, please, I beg of you. Please, have YouTube show this to you, my stuff to you again, please. I plead. And then on the other two, one, YouTube likes it, gives me, shows it to more people, plus... Otters, like humans, are self replicating proteins, so we like having big numbers of stuff, you know? Please? But anyway, yeah. S this video took longer than normal to make because. Why, why am I stuttering? Shit, 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 shit. But basically, it took longer than normal to make because I was making new assets and I had to get iMovie to actually not be stupid about them. 
was being stupid about them while I got past that, so this is finally it. The next episode isn't as long, and is I don't have to, I'm not making new assets, so this won't be, it won't take so long, so horribly long. But I once dreamed of this coming out the day after last episode. Lol.